Who's the breakout candidate? And I'll tell you, let's see if we can go old school match game on this. I have somebody in mind, and I did not look at who you have, and I want to see interest, interest if we match here. Well, great minds usually think alike, and I wouldn't be surprised if you have my guy in Trevor Lawrence. He is my breakout player for this upcoming season, and here's why. The dysfunction that he was a part of, I'm not surprised to see the struggles that we saw from him. He completed only 59% of his passes. He only had 12 touchdowns and 11 interceptions. I don't think he, I'm sorry, 17 interceptions. I don't think he had those bad, bad, bad like numbers when he was playing high school football or Park Warner football. This was probably the worst football year Trevor Lawrence ever produced as a starting quarterback on any level. But now, get this, you remove the dysfunction and you bring you bring in structure, you bring in stability and Doug Peterson, a guy who has been known to get the best out of his quarterback. And I can tell you this much, that highlight that you're watching right there could be a sign of things to come based on how well he played in the final week of the season. Against a real stout defensive team, the Indianapolis Colts, he completed 71% of his passes a season high, 223 yards throwing and two touchdowns, zero interceptions. We know the talent is there. We know the athleticism is there, but clearly something was standing in front of him. And I think it had more to do with the dysfunction that was a part of that staff. And they removed that dysfunction and in comes Doug Peterson. And you better believe you will see a much better, you will see a better Trevor Lawrence this season than last. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.